Well, greetings, Facebook. Happy Monday to you. Uh, I'm going to give uh, folks a chance to jump on here as we spend uh, just a little bit of time and encouragement and prayer today. Uh, I want to make sure everybody is able to hear me loud and clear. Uh, I see a couple people jumping on there. So uh, one of you or somebody that's jumped on there, if you can just maybe uh, let me know that you can you can hear me okay, maybe a thumbs up or a wave or something uh, so that I can be sure that this is all working properly. There we go. Okay. Sounds good. Great. Tony Stogsdill, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, jumping on, longtime friend. Good to see you. Mike Carpy. Appreciate that, buddy. I uh, hope you played well today. Mike's a golfer. And uh, Tamara's on there. That's good. Thank you, guys. Uh, appreciate that. So, hey, it's been a couple weeks since we've had a chance to spend a few minutes on a Monday. Uh, I was able to get away for a, a vacation with my family last week, and uh, it was awesome to be away, to unplug, and to spend time uh, together with them for sure. Uh, but I miss being here. Uh, I miss uh, in sitting here and, and spending time with you on Facebook on Mondays. I miss being at church on Sundays and the work throughout the course of the week. So it's, it's good to be back in the office and, and getting back at it today. So uh, I had a chance to think uh, a lot this last week um, just about uh, current uh, conditions and set of circumstances that we're in, uh, both as a, uh, as a family, uh, personally, uh, as a church, uh, through my work, and then even just as, as a country, uh, as a people, and uh, how we try to make sense of, of everything that we're, we're seeing and feeling. And um, one of the things I was reminded of this week is that a few weeks back, we finished a sermon series called Difference Makers. And I wanted to just celebrate with you a little bit today that what I have here, I actually have a, I have a spreadsheet, uh, 58 people uh, who put their name down with an idea and said, um, that this is what God has laid on their heart. This is the way that God is encouraging you and challenging you to be a difference maker for those that are around you. So I appreciate so much those of you that um, took time to wrestle with what breaks your heart. Uh, what is the thing that God has laid on your heart that you feel like you have to take action on and you have to do something about? Uh, it's great to talk about things, but we don't just simply want to talk about things. Uh, we want to uh, we want to be about things and, and what it means to uh, move be moved to action by the things that that break our heart. And so I'm encouraged by that. Uh, we want to keep that in front of you as a church and as a people. And for those of you maybe that didn't hear that sermon series or aren't a part of our church, we want you to know that we believe that everybody is called to make a difference where they're at and maybe maybe never before uh, as much as as right now. And I want to encourage you today with a passage of scripture that really spoke to me at a time in my life about eight years ago. Uh, my wife and I and our family just celebrated uh, our eighth year uh, of being in Arizona. Uh, we pulled into town uh, August 1st uh, of 2012. And um, it is crazy to think that we've been here for that amount of time. But through that process of moving from Nashville back home here uh, to um, to Arizona, um, the, God really put this scripture on my heart in John chapter 15. A little bit of background here. Jesus is speaking, and he's talking about, um, he's, he's making this analogy about what it means to be connected uh, to Christ, um, that, that he is the vine, he is the true vine, and we are the branches, we are the extension of that. And in chapter 15 of John, in verse 16, he makes a very powerful statement that really spoke to me uh, at a pivotal time in my life and that I want to encourage you today, especially as it relates to what it means for you to be a difference maker wherever you're at. Here's what it says in John 15, 16. It says, you did not choose me. This is Jesus speaking. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you that you would go and bear fruit, fruit that would last. What he's saying here is, I think, part of um, uh, what it means to be uh, a follower of Christ, to be a Christian, is that God pursues us and he has chosen us for a great work and a great thing, no matter where you're at. Um, I know that God has a tremendous plan for your family because you're in it. I know that God has a tremendous plan for your workplace because you work there. I know God has a tremendous plan for your neighborhood because you live there. 
And God has chosen you and he has appointed you to go out and bear the fruit of the Spirit, to bear the fruit that would say that you uh, are a child of God and that that fruit would last and remain. And that would be what it means to be a difference maker for the kingdom. And so in this season, uh, it feels like maybe there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we're getting kind of past the COVID stuff, at least here locally here in Tucson. We seem to have turned the corner a little bit and, uh, you know, cases are going down and instances are going down and maybe some normalcy will return, but we still have uncertainty, right? Uncertainty about school and large gatherings and sports and youth sports and how all of that stuff's going to play out. But in all of that, I would still encourage you that no matter what it is you're dealing with, no matter what it is you're going through, you have still been chosen by God for an amazing work. And it's the work right where you are. And you can be a difference maker for those around you if you'll keep that perspective. We want to encourage you to do that uh, even in this season. Speak a kind word, be an encouragement, do something kind for your neighbor, for your coworker. Uh, be positive when everybody else maybe is piling on and being negative. Um, do the things that um, uh, would, would set you apart in those situations. So let me pray for you for that end and pray for our week that God would just lead us and, and guide us and, and, and direct us. All right? Heavenly Father, we're grateful that your word says that you will hear our prayers when we speak and when we come to you, we petition you for needs and uh, for for uh, things that um, we have to have you intervene. And so uh, we would just pray for all of the issues and challenges that are facing us as, as a people, as a country, from uh, racial reconciliation to the coronavirus and those that are affected to our politics and uh, some divisiveness that is present. Lord, we need a move and, a, and, and the Holy Spirit to come and to lead and guide and direct us. And so we pray boldly that you would do that. I pray for the one maybe today that is listening to this and uh, maybe they're at the end of their rope. And I would just remind us today that Jesus Christ lives at the end of our rope. It's when we get to our end that we find you. And so I would pray today for those that need encouragement, that you would encourage them, that the peace that passes understanding would come uh, into living rooms or into cars or uh, into family rooms or kitchen tables or wherever this might be uh, being watched right now, and that the, the, the peace of the, the Spirit of God would come and would, would comfort I pray for those that are having a tough time with the job situation or family situation, for those that maybe are affected physically by this coronavirus uh, vi deal, that, that you would just come and that you would heal, that you would restore through the miracle work of your hand or through the miracle of modern medicine, that you uh, would restore back to health those that are dealing uh, with sickness right now. I pray, Lord, that you would remind each and every one of us that we are difference makers right where we are in our families, in our homes, in our workplace, on our streets, in our cars we drive around. Wherever it is we are, we are difference makers for you. Would you remind us of that? Would you remind us today the words of John 15, 16, that we didn't choose you as much as you have chosen us to do a work and a work that will last. And I pray that that would take root deep in our heart today, that we would live that out, that we would make it happen, that we would be difference makers for those that are in need. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's been great to jump back on here and spend just a few minutes with you. Uh, if this has been an encouragement to you, when this video gets posted, maybe share it on your timeline so it might be an encouragement to others. Uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you back here online all week long, Thursday night service at 6.30 uh, on all of our platforms, as well as back again uh, Sunday. And uh, we look forward to being able to serve and help in any way. If you need anything, visit our website, ovcn.church. Uh, there's some forms on there that you can fill out if you need some help or you'd like to be the help for those that are in need. We'd encourage you to do that. God bless you guys. It's been great to spend a few minutes with you. Have a great week, and we'll see you online real soon, okay? God bless you.